Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings, craving a juicy and flavorful twist on a classic comfort food. Look no further than this smoked meatloaf recipe. We're going to ditch the oven and take advantage of our smoker. Get ready for a meatloaf that's bursting with flavor and guaranteed to leave you wanting more. In this video, we'll go over how to prep the meatloaf, how to hide the veggies from those picky eaters, how to smoke the meatloaf, how to achieve juicy and flavorful meatloaf every single time, how to make a delicious graze, and of course, I'll be sharing tips along the way for perfect results. So if you're ready to ditch the oven and create a show-stopping smoked meatloaf, then let's go. First things first, preheat your smoker to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. While the smoker gets nice and hot, let's prep our meatloaf mixture. Here's where we get sneaky and we add some extra veggies without anyone knowing, especially those picky eaters. For this recipe, we'll be using one medium onion diced. The onion adds a subtle sweetness and savory depth that complements the smokiness beautifully. Dice it small and it disappears right into the meatloaf. Next, shredded carrots and diced tricolored peppers add a touch of natural sweetness and moisture to the meatloaf. They also provide a bit of color that won't raise any red flags with those picky eaters. The key here is to chop them as finely as possible, or you can use a food processor. For an extra kick, add some jalapenos. Don't forget some breadcrumbs. And for spices, add minced garlic, onion powder, freshly cracked salt and pepper. Oh, and sneak in some bacon in there too, along with egg as a binder, and then mix everything together to make sure everything is incorporated really well. Now, smoking a meatloaf is awesome, but if you were interested in learning how to cook a meatloaf on a charcoal grill, I have covered the whole process in detail in a previous video. Stay tuned until the end of this video where I'll have a link to that video. And while I have you here, make sure to like and subscribe. Not only are you supporting a small channel, but you're playing an integral part in helping the channel grow. Now it's time to form the meatloaf. I have this rectangle grill tray and what I like to do is spread the meat out in a thin layer. Then I'll take one edge and fold it right on top of itself. Then I'll continue to shape the meat into a loaf. I found that this tray allows the meat to take on more smoke and allowing me to easily move it on the grate. If you don't have one, a bread pan will work, or you can lay down some aluminum foil on the grill grates and then add the meatloaf right on top. Next, carefully transfer the formed meatloaf onto the smoker rack, and then set your timer for one hour. You really don't have to do anything other than check in every now and then to make sure that there isn't any temperature fluctuations or that the meat is cooking too fast or too slow. We will shoot for an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll add my trusty Meter Plus meat probe to make sure we hit that temperature. If you're interested in learning more about this meat probe, I have a link in the comment. While the meatloaf smokes, let's create a delicious glaze. In a saucepan, combine one cup of ketchup, one cup brown sugar, one cup blueberry preserves, or apricot preserves, or pineapple preserves. It's really up to you. A couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce, bring the glaze to a boil, then reduce the heat and simmer. Once the glaze thickens, let it set and develop those flavors. I'll have the full recipe link in the comments. After one hour of smoking time, check the internal temperature of the meatloaf. You're looking for an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it reaches that temp, brush the glaze generously all over the meatloaf. Let it cook for another five to 10 minutes, allowing the glaze to set. The meatloaf is finished. When it reaches an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, remove it from the smoker and let it rest for five minutes before slicing. And there you have it, a delicious smoked meatloaf recipe that's sure to impress. Serve it up with your favorite sides and enjoy the smoky flavor explosion. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like and subscribe as that's the best way to support the channel. And if you really like this video, check out the playlist suggested at the end. It features recipes for steaks, chickens, pork, vegetables, briskets, and a whole lot more. For more great recipes, visit my website, smokybeginnings.com. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.